Hello and welcome to a quick lesson on layer 6 and 7, the presentation and application layers. Some attributes of layer 6 that you need to be familiar with include encoding. And the best way to think of encoding is the process of changing something from human readable to machine or app application readable. So translation services are included in the presentation layer. It includes conversion and compression, such as MP3, zip, etc. In other words, it makes things common and discernible. Layer 7 includes a number of concepts you need to be familiar with. The first being DC, uh, sorry, DHCP, or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. This is a network management protocol that allows a DHCP server to dynamically assign an IP address and configurations to each device on the network. The domain name system is a naming system for associating IP addresses to domains. Simple network management protocol is a protocol used to collect and manage information about devices on the network. And LDAP or lightweight, direct, lightweight directory access protocol in its simplest form can be thought of as a centralized place to store usernames and passwords for various applications and services to validate users. So DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, the common body of knowledge outlines the following process for DHCP. The client sends a discovery packet. The server responds with an IP lease offering. The client in turn requests the IP from the server. And finally, the request is acknowledged upon which the IP is temporarily bound to the client. The domain name system has the following characteristics. A fully qualified domain name, the root or top level being the .com or the .net, etc. The second level domains being the name of the site. For example, if you had Amazon, that would be the second level domain or Microsoft.com. You'd have Microsoft being the second level domain and the .com being the top level domain. A subdomain, of course, would be something like, you know, books.amazon.com. The books part would be the subdomain. The host, start of authority, name server, pointers, mail exchange, and certificate authority. The things to know about simple network management protocol, or SNMP, are that there's a server and a client, or a manager and agent. It's susceptible to brute force password guessing. The network management system is software that runs on the manager or server. It has management information base and an agent, which is the software running on each client. Lastly, we have LDAP, which consists of the following. We have the distinguished name, relative distinguished name, common name, domain component. These are basically the attributes of the directory entries that identify things such as the domain component, who the user is, what organization they belong to, etc. And the common body of knowledge tells us that version 3 supports TLS. Thanks again for joining us. Please visit cissprep.net for the best practice questions on the market. We have over 1,300 now, and we continue to write more each day. Hope you're all doing well, and have a great day.